Hi, my name is Michael with Iconasys. Today we'll be doing a new feature highlight video communicating the modeling mode within our Shutterstream and Shutterstream 360 product photography software. Uh, just before we dive in, we'll talk a little bit about our setup here. Um, we do have our camera. It's a Canon camera connected via USB to the computer. Um, the Shutterstream 360 software installed on our computer. That is Windows and Mac compatible. Uh, we're working with our Iconasys Silver Mid turntable. Um, although we're showing it with a turntable, we'll communicate the features for both still and the 360 shooting mode if you're using strobes. Uh, we're working with a backlight panel. This is part of our medium LumiPad 360 lighting kit. It's just a uh, dimmable backlight panel that will help us achieve white backgrounds when shooting still in 360 product photography. And then the last thing, and again, probably the most important part of this setup because the modeling mode feature is designed for working with strobes. We have an individual strobe. It's just set uh, with a, a strip box around it. And we just have a little bounce card here that will help bounce the light back onto the product. Uh, and then on top of our camera, we do have a wireless strobe trigger. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, the product we'll be using, we're just going to shoot a lens. Um, this should be uh, kind of pretty straightforward just to help communicate the, uh, the software feature. So my first step here is to place the object on the turntable. And I'm just going to visually look over top and place as to what kind of looks to be the center. Now what we're going to do is turn it over to the software and we'll walk you through the software kind of workflow showing you how this modeling feature works. Alright, so we've entered into our Shutterstream 360 software. Uh, again, our camera's connected via USB to our computer and what you're seeing on the screen is a real-time preview. Um, as you can see, my hand going back and forth there. Um, obviously when working with strobes, a real-time preview that simulates exposure like we do in our software when working with most of the cameras we support um, is going to be very dark. This actually is probably a lot lighter than what a lot of our strobe users will see just because I'm working with a backlight here. Um, but the nice thing what we can do is actually set a live view. So I'm just going to change my shutter speed and open up the exposure. And we can see there it's much lighter now. Uh, the benefit of that is we're going to be able to work within the software and kind of see how things work. First and foremost, we can see that this, you know, our camera is shooting a little bit off. So that's a good kind of preview exposure. And what I'll actually do is save this. I'm just going to call it, uh, let's just call it preview exposure. All right. So that's going to be our preview exposure. I'm going to hit save there. Uh, pardon me, I already saved it. And then the next thing that we want to do is go ahead up into the options area this blue gear wheel in the top right hand corner we're going to go to our live view options and we're going to enable modeling mode for preview exposure and what that's going to do is when we have that selected um, anytime that we make a change inside of here it's going to retain the preview exposure shooting mode so although i just made a change to my shutter speed from i think the preview mode was the 1 13th of a second now we're at 1 100th of a second um, it's still going to show us kind of a clear, not very dark preview. So what I can do while in the preview is enable my crop and I can say, go ahead and crop this area. If you can see this kind of rectangle area, um, where it's going to define our area there and I'll just hit my snap button. And what that did was actually when I hit snap, obviously it used the setting that I had highlighted in the camera settings window down here, as we can see one one hundredth of a second. Um, so that was a result we we're able to shoot. Um, that looks pretty good for exposure. What I think I can probably get away with here is probably opening up the exposure just a tad bit more. So we're gonna toggle to one eightieth of a second. And that's actually looking quite good there. Um, so I'll probably work with that setting. So again now what I could do if required was I could save this setting as we'll just call this our snap setting I'll just hit OK there and you're gonna see in this drop down we have our kind of our two settings here I'll just enable snap there and I know that anytime I put an object on provided I'm not moving my strobes my lighting etc I can use this snap setting so Kind of elaborating on this, um, that's kind of the overall benefit of this, just being able to see everything while in the real-time preview. And again, that's our modeling mode. Um, just to take this kind of one step further, we can go ahead and hit our 360 button here in the top right-hand corner. 
This will take us into the 360 shooting mode and we're gonna select our turntable type. And a benefit of the real-time preview when shooting your 360 product photography is the ability to pre-rotate. So what I could do is hit this play button here and watch on my screen to ensure that I've positioned my object in the center of the turntable, that it's not spinning off axis. And it looks like we've done actually quite a good job there. Um, we would obviously notice if it was slightly off, what we could do is just hit our, say our stop button here. I could reach over, just make a slight adjustment to the position and then continue pre-rotating. And then when I'm ready to start shooting, I would just kind of find my optimal first shooting kind of angle. And that might not be the best angle there. We'll just try to find the, the logo here. And we'll just give it a second. There we go. There's the Sam Yang logo. And we'll just pause that there. And I'm just going to reposition my crop. Again, the benefit of seeing things is your ability to kind of see your crop and make sure as you pre-rotate, your object does not fall outside this crop area that we defined. And then when I'm ready to start shooting my 360, I just hit this start button. And that will automate the process in a turn, stop, snap workflow. And you're probably hearing a beep. Uh, after every snap um, what that is that's just from the strobe so that just tells us the strobe is fired so uh, this a great tool for uh, professionals and or users of strobe lighting if uh, they wish to shoot their 360 product photography the company is Iconosys if you have any questions let us know thank you